We are the guinea pig collective. All will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Welcome back, as we're hanging out with Dark Helmet, the master of the sci-fi and Transformers pig. And we are going to be taking a look at something that's been in the collection for a while. We haven't had a chance to get it out and take a look at it. But here we go. Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron. The Golden Disc Collection Autobot Puffer and Autobot Road Ranger. Now we're going to get into those characters and what exactly their names are supposed to mean. Because I'm sure many of you probably have no clue who either one of these characters are. So let's go ahead and get started with these two guys who they are. So Autobot Puffer is actually, it's nothing more than a Pipes figure that was miscolored. So it was kind of given this name Puffer since it kind of reminded everybody like a cross between Puffer and Pipes and it's Puffer. As for Autobot Road Ranger, this one is a more modern version of a 2004 e-hobby exclusive of a character of the same name. But who is Road Ranger? Road Ranger is actually a GoBot. So when Taka was failing and going bankrupt, Hasbro bought all the rights and licensing names of GoBots and all the characters' names from them. They did not, however, purchase the original designs of the toys since they actually still to this day belong to Bondi. They did, however, create this version by using a Huffer-based model and just redecoing it and calling it Road Ranger. Here we go with Autobot Puffer and Road Ranger right out of the packaging. Uh, both these ones are uh, based on the Huffer and the uh, Pipes models from Earthrise uh, or for Cybertron line. Uh, decent range movement. These are both pretty decent. Uh, got nice rockers down here at the bottom. Uh, he's got a little bit of an extra flap right there that technically if you lean it way back, you can get that in a really nice position right there. That, that is really well done. He's got a nice turn right there. At the top, he does have a waist turn as well. Uh, this back piece kind of is a little bit on a hinge too, so it's kind of weird when you go to turn it. Uh, there is movement here in the head, uh, a little bit down, very little up, it's almost straight. He does got the bicep turn right there. He's got a decent elbow. There is no movement in the hand, part of transformation, it kind of tucks in. And you gotta watch that, that part right there when you go to move the arm. But nice movement, decent movement overall on this guy. As far as Road Ranger, uh, Road Ranger is essentially the same. Most of these joints are exactly the same, so really nicely done. Uh, overall, these ones have some decent articulation. Let's get some of their accessories out and put them in some poses. Here we go with Puffer and Road Ranger both running into action, as you can see. Puffer has just like pipes, he's got those two big extra ports that were the exhaust on the original vehicle form, but these ones actually pour on the side as guns. And of course, you can see Road Ranger over there has a blaster and a big shield unit. Uh, both of these ones are balancing very well and they look phenomenal. Let's get on to the next pose. We go with both Puffer and Road Ranger in another pose. Got Puffer blasting up into the air, uh, looking up about as far as he can. And then we've got Road Ranger over there using that big giant shield as not only a shield, but as a brace for his weapon to get some good steady shots at those Decepticons. Full kneeling position, very impressive. I love when the figures are able to do that. More pose for these two in some very wide-legged stances taking their last stand maybe against a group of Decepticons. Really, really nice, very well done, very well balanced. Here we go with both Puffer and Road Ranger transformed into their truck forms. Uh, there's a few things about the way these things transform. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, some huge gaps down here. These legs actually don't port anywhere, so they are a little bit on the loose side as far as they can still move a bit, quite a bit. I mean, they port together, but they don't port anywhere up here to keep them stable. Uh, I think that's just kind of a miss right there. Uh, these two pieces, you don't need to leave them ported on there. I just did that because original pipes had that stuff in there. You can technically just port these on the back over here if you wanted to. And there you go with Puffer. Uh, now, as far as Road Ranger, He's kind of kind of got this almost like dump truck type look to him or maybe a flatbed type of truck look. To, I'm not really sure exactly what they were going for. Uh, I will say that on this one, 
it's black on here, but if you look on the original picture on the box, they're showing it to be silver. So I don't know if that was a last minute change. They decided oh, it looked better in black along with the outside body of the truck and just silver on the inside. But and eh, he's got some of the same limitations in transformability as Puffer did. But overall, they both make some pretty decent looking trucks. I, I'm not really that disappointed with it. They're, they're not bad. Now it took a hot minute to figure out how to move everything and port it into place. Once I did, the, uh, the second one was no problem whatsoever. I gotta say that I'm pretty happy with this two set. That these are decent. They got a lot of range of movement. They both look excellent. The paint applications are really good. A little bit of a miss on Road Ranger as far as what they were going with from the box to the actual toy. But I don't mind the black on the on the outside. I think it matches up a lot better with the scheme of the paint job that the overall truck has. So I think that's pretty damn good. Overall, I gotta say I'm impressed with these two. And the Guinea Pig Collective is going to give this two pack. A solid 10 out of 10. I really don't think there is a lot more that they could have done with these to make them any better. I mean, these are smaller size figures. I mean, they still fit into that deluxe range technically, but overall, these things have everything that you would expect to have them. Lots of places to port the weapons on and a, a decent look to both of them. Anyway, guys, that is all we have on this twin pack. I believe this one was available through either Amazon or Pulse. I forget what it was. I know it wasn't exclusive. So unless you actually found the golden disc pack exclusives, because there was a few of them, you probably never seen these guys. Anyway, guys, let us know what you thought of our rating on this set. What did you think about these characters? Did you even know about these characters? Be sure to let Dark Helmet know what you thought. Later, y'all. Transformers, more than meets the eye, the Transformers.